Hey guys, it's Sunday, May 30th. So I told you guys yesterday that I went to see Prince of Persia. I didn't really know that much about Prince of Persia, but all I knew was that Jake Gyllenhaal is going to be super hot. Overall, it was a really predictable movie, as a lot of action movies are, but that's not my beef with it. My complaints are more from an artistic perspective. It incorporates three of my pet peeves concerning design. The opening text scrolls up saying, a long, long time ago, in the deserts of Persia, or something like that. I don't really remember because all that was going on in my head was, oh my gosh. They're using freaking bright yellow papyrus font. In graphic design, papyrus and comic sans are the least respectable fonts. And as far as the yellow goes, okay, I know that we're in the desert and deserts are kind of, you know, golden yellow, but don't use bright primary color yellow. It's so distracting and blinding and it does not make the movie experience very enjoyable at all. So those are reasons one and two. Reason number three is more specifically related to film. So in the video game Prince of Persia, there is a lot of slow-mo action that goes on. So if you're making a film about the Prince of Persia video game, knowing that your film is going to incorporate a lot of the same elements, then you should budget your money to buy enough film to properly slow down the shot instead of editing the slow-mo in post-production. An English translation for that film talk. So a film is just a series of photographs that are taken at a certain rate and put on a reel and sped up so that the photos look like they're moving. So if you want to slow down a particular sequence, you're going to use more film so that the same action will take a longer period of time. But if you shoot and then you decide later that you want to slow down the film in post, it just takes kind of like an average, like a median, a middle shot, and then it just looks really bad because it's like a really bad iMovie fading transition. Granted, film production studios don't edit their movies in iMovie. I mean, it could be because my group of friends was sitting close to the movie screen, but there were other special effects that looked way better than the slow-mo, which makes me think that it was just a really poor decision about budget. And I know that, you know, these economic times are really hard for the film industry, but if you can afford Jake Gyllenhaal, you should be able to produce a lot of good quality special effects, right? <laughs> but there was a lot of hot Jake Gyllenhaal, which in my mind, I was thinking, okay, this movie is slowly redeeming itself for its artistic errors. So I was getting ready to leave the movie theater feeling happy, being like, yeah, I mean, it was kind of lame, but I still liked it, until they decided to end the movie with a nice moral message about how it doesn't matter where you're from because the prince is from the streets. It just matters your actions and if you have integrity, again, I don't really remember the message because it was in that same stupid yellow papyrus font. And then the credits rolled up in a different font, in some like pretty legit like serif font. And I was thinking, why didn't you just use that font for the whole movie? So yeah, that is why I disliked Prince of Persia and I would just rather have a giant Prince of Persia poster that if the font papyrus was on it in any way, I would just cut it out and have a nice little cutout of Jake Gyllenhaal's body. So yeah, that's all I have to talk about today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys!